The best chef in second grade. Chef Antonio, Ollie, weren't you the best in second grade? He was not the best reader. He was not the best runner. He was not the best artist. Everyone else in the room, 75, seemed to shine. One Tuesday, Mr. Hopper said, I have a surprise for you. We will have a guest on Friday. Chief Antonio is coming. Chief Antonio asked Miguel from the TV show, asked Sam. The real one asked Luna. The one and only said Mr. Hopper. She is going to cook something special for us. All I could not believe his ears. He loves Chef Antonia. She threw the food in the air. She gets desserts on fire. Only watch her show every day. But she's famous, Nina said. Why is she coming to our class? Mr. Hopper has grinned and said, let's surprise Chef Antonia and cook something special for her. I don't know how to cook, moaned Sophia. It will be fun, Mr. Hopper. Find something that everyone in your family likes to eat. We will share our family favorites and with Chef Antonio on Friday. Oh, he loved to mix the and stir. He loved to sparkle and smash. The treats he made for his family were tasty and beautiful. All he loved to cook more than anything in the world, but there wasn't a family favorite. He had only three days to find out. Too Rosie. What is your family favorite? Ollie asked the supper at, that night. Your favorite what? Asked father. Food, said Ollie. I need to find dish we like. Ollie's mother licked her lips. I love Aunt Ada's bean surprise, she said. I hate beans, said Rosie. While they were doing the dishes, Ollie's father said, I love my cousin Charlie. Five alarm chili. It's too red, said Rosie. At bedtime, Ollie asked, what about grandma's Double Delight Chocolate Cake is a yummy and his mother is tasty. And his father, I like vanilla, says Rolly. Next morning, Rosie held her bowl and oatmeal in front of Oli. It needs to face, she said. Oli reached for the berries. One by one, they put them on Rosie's oatmeal. Soon the blueberry face was smiling at her sister. Thanks, said Rosie. Oli looked around the table. Do you all like oatmeal? She asked. Sure. Said the mother, sure, says the father, no, I only like the face. She picked off the berries and ate them one by one. We are a family, shouted Oli, but we have no favorite. He dumped his oatmeal in the sink and stomped outside to the bus. Cupcakes and meatballs. On Thursday, Oli's class pushed her dust into squares. They made red and white tablecloths. Cardboard, candles, paper flowers, great job, Mr. Hopper. It looks like a restaurant in here. No, it's time to get to work. They open their science books. Who could tell us about claims? Asked Mr. Hopper. They go into Grandpa's soup, Miguel and Proudly. Clam chowder is my family's favorite. Oh, did you say anything? Next, they did math problems. Using measured cups and spoons, we bake with these tiny at home. Cupcakes sprinkled with stars and my family's favorite. Oh, did not say anything. They tossed basketballs at recess. Guess where I am bringing for Chef Antonio, said Nina. What? Everyone asked. Meatballs. Nina was smile. I'm bringing homemade bread, said Sam. I'm bringing cherry pie, said Sophie. Does anyone in your family like pie? Asked Sully. Yes, said Sophie. Pie is my favorite family favorite. By noon, Oli felt too awful to eat. He made aliens out of his lunch. Oh, are you all right, Oli? Asked Nina. I'm fine, he said. But Oli was not fine. Everyone in this class had a family favorite except one Oli. That night, after supper, Oli went to find his mother. She was reading a book. Mom asked Oli, what is your favorite food? I like macaroni, she said. Oli went to find his father. He was taking a bath. Dad, Oli yelled. What is your favorite food? Always father answered, cheese. Oli marched into Rosie's room. She was painted her dollhouse, Rosie. What is your favorite food? Macaroni and cheese, said Rosie. Only if it is a face. Oli dashed in the kitchen. He mixed a stir. He sprinkled and smashed. Soon a pan of macaroni and cheese was cooling on the counter. 
It looks so golden. It looks so creamy. It was my idea, said Rosie. Someone else's sister. On Friday morning, family fairies filled room 75. They looked smelled wonderful. Suddenly, Oli wondered that his macaroni and cheese was too silly for Chef Antonio. He put the pan down without taking off his cover. There was a noisy in the hallway. A large cart rumbled through the door. Bowls wobbled and spoons rattled. Chef Antonio was in room 75. Chef Antonio looked at each other and found a favorite. Lovely, 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 she said. Oli, did you say anything? He took back and watched. When Chef Antonio picked up his pan, she pulled off the cover and grass. Look at this, she claimed. It is macaroni and cheese. With a face, everyone started to laugh. Whose family favorite is this? asked Chef Antonia. Minnie. Oli quietly. His cheeks turned red. He wanted to hide. Chef Antonia held up Oli's pan. Look at these colors, she asked. Look at the smile. This dish was made by a chef. Everyone clapped and cheered. When Chef Antonia was little, she liked faces in her food too, said Mr. Hopper. Oli's eyes opened wide. How do you know? she asked. Mr. Hopper smiled. You know, Chef Antonio is my little sister, he said. Now let's cook something special. Oli put the apron on, stood beside Chef Antonio. I did not matter what they made. He was ready to help. Oli loved to cook more than anything else in the world. He was the best chef in second grade. 